Hey guys, uh, I'm gonna take a video today about 777. Uh, for one thing, it's high time, um, but mostly it's because I've been, I've had a piece that I've been working on really slowly for like a week and a half about it, um, a written piece, and uh, I think it's it's important enough uh, to me and to my mission uh, to just, to put myself out there, you know, quicker. I mean, because with writing, like, you gotta cross the I's and dot the T's, <laughs> whatever. And, um, and it makes me, it, you know, it, it's, uh, powerful, but it's also kind of, um, isolating until it's shared. Um, so I'm, I'm gonna try to share, um, bits and pieces of uh, what I understand 777 to be um, here, and it won't be as detailed as the, the writing, so I'm still going to finish the writing. But uh, And I'm going to kind of uh, start from a more personal place, since it is a video, and uh, it just seems more appropriate. So, um, so 777... It's one of Bright's frequencies or numbers or whatever, and I know they're not really Bright's, but like, he's where I know of them from. Uh, Bright's a guy on Twitter. Um, and uh, in over the course of, I don't know, playing with Bright, working with Bright, whatever, like a couple months ago, I figured out that this thing that he called 777 uh, referred to me. Uh, not necessarily exclusively, but kind of like, um, just like how um, I can stand in for the pattern when I'm at the right state. Like, so I'm going to Opposite to how I'm writing it, I'm not going to talk about, describe, like, the, the full cosmic flow of 777 first. I'm going to start by what it felt like the moments that I was doing it. Um, so, like, a couple days after 11-11, you know couple weeks ago, um, maybe three or four days after that, I saw something, did something, was something that I, I haven't ever been before, and I realized it was 777, and I, um, so let me tell you how I usually is and then how it was different and what happened so i have one of my models here to oops to help um let me spindle tetrahedron so um on and off through this process uh i guess you could say the past year is mostly i've been um like one of the recurring models of my soul is just just this but a lot of times, um, when I'm, I'll just say an error because I don't want to be specific about it, but I kind of feel like at this stage in the game, even the word error is kind of too, um, I don't know. Uh, we could call them spiritual possessions. So a lot of times there's a, a dark ball around the uh, point in the middle of the spindle. Um, just kind of like a, a messy, like a ball of yarn kind of thing. Um, dark and... Um, <sighs> dense, that's the word I'm looking for. Not like super dense, not like heavy but like occlusive um and i wouldn't want if i said 
if I emphasize the density too much, you might think it's just one solid thing. But when I said ball of yarn, um, that's really uh, that's on purpose. Like like it's it's a one giant knot, one string of uh, air twistings, fallings, uh, spiritual you know resentment and stuff that you're holding on to. And, um, of course, I'm not unique in having any of that. I mean, so far, so good for humanity, right? Um, and there's a couple of ways that, um, sorry, I'm getting distracted thinking about what you all will be thinking when I... I need to fight that <laughs> until I, you know, well, and if I'm in a low state like this, it's kind of hard. Um, but, you know, it doesn't matter. I'm going to get this out there and overseas it'll see it. And um, so anyway, so what I figured out once I met slash learned about the Leviathan, um, was that that was the Leviathan. Um, the serpentine abyssal sea monster. Uh, the, the zero point. Um, and somehow it becomes like a, like a string, like a coil, like a snake, like a... I mean, it's um, it's a primordial character. Like, it's there's no amount of description with foreign speech that could ever really describe it. Um, so it's a matter of metaphor and of um, what I've done in identifying functions that the life that serves in. Uh, how reality works as it is, and like figuring out what its place is in in our restored universe, you know, when we're in fiveness, um, because it doesn't go away, and it's even though it seems to be the the root of all evil down here, and you know, one of its uh, things could be the devil, <laughs> like, um, even though it seems to be the root of all evil down here, it really doesn't mean to hurt us, and it's just, like, the wacky way that, like, we've gotten m entangled with it, combined with its own nature. It has a very strong, um, uh, A sort of a bestial nature, like it's like a like a leopard or a wolf or um, a shark, like like something that uh, is is kind of um, what what I'm trying to say is that. Um, the fact that we fall into it and it consumes us into nothingness does not reflect malice, but reflects the nature of it and the nature of us. It's it's kind of like a chemical reaction or, um, you know, laws of physics. Um, so I'm, I'm getting a little afield, but I guess I wanted to introduce the concept of the Leviathan. Um, because I recognize I can't just say it and uh, expect you to know what I mean. Um, and I still haven't, you know, I'm still just scratching the surface. But anyway, so there's this ball of this mass of light and sin, error, darkness, uh, chaos, um, hiding, codependency, um, um, 
for some reason, the word immersion is coming to my head. I don't know what that means here. But, um, so yeah, so imagine this, like, dark, either just kind of shadowy or murky or black ball in the middle there. And, um, so the, the problem of, of, Redemption or salvation is how do you get rid of that thing? <laughs> you know, how do you get that motherfucker out of me, off me? And um, kind of, I know of, and, and this is my limited experience, but like two ways that that you do that, and one is. Um, just like over time uh let that bubble that mass shrink until it's gone um it's kind of like a bubble and it's kind of like that point there in the middle of the spindle is um in some sense a singularity like a, a puncture into higherness and so like you if you don't focus on it and add to it and monitor it consciously all the time then it'll just kind of very slowly go down the drain and if you are like living consciously um living consciously and effectively in a spiritual fashion, uh, you can drastically speed that up and ultimately get to the point where, uh, well, you don't accumulate in the first place, but if you do, you don't pay any attention to it or strengthen it or, like, hinder it in any way from just going down the drain, you know. Um, so that's the... Uh, New thought, new age kind of way that I know. The other way is uh, the Christian way, which I call passing through an orthoplex, which is when, which is when Christ slash God like um, presents you with or designs for you a a sort of ordeal to to go through, to get it all done, you know, all at once. Um, it often entails suffering, might just entail work. Um, I mean, in the end, it will be, you know, restorative. Um, fixing relationships, you know, feeling safer, feeling the weight lifted. Um, but there's a need to pass through a place that is, whether it's suffering or whatever, it's very, it's unpleasant, like, like by by definition, and um, you just have to trust in that process and accept it, you know, accept I'm in an orthoplex or I need to pass through an orthoplex, I need to be purified. Um, the orthoplex, remember, is that sigil that's just a circle corded by across um originally it was a capital o with a cross inside like just from the name or from the name and the knowledge that it was the christ but then it quickly evolved into being like a circle with equal quadrants so um so that's my term my my worldview but um i mean it's a pretty understandable common idea right um Penance, atonement, you know, uh, making amends, making up for it, serving your time. Like, there's so many, it's very, that's the most, uh, most widely known or referenced in our culture way of doing this. So, um, what I had happen a couple weeks ago, um, that had never happened before was I was presented with 
this same image of the, um, you know, my soul with the spindle inside with the, the ball of yuck, whatever on it. And, um, and, oh, I wanted to, I wanted to mention, I mean, it can grow and shrink, like there's different sizes, and I think, you know, most damaging, worst case, it gets so big that it bulges out the actual sides of your soul, and, you know, that's, that's real bad. Um, but anyway, so, so it was in there, and it kind of just like normal, and I wish I could remember, like, how I, how it happened, how it started, but, but I don't, it, it, what, what it felt like was, um, I saw that I could initiate this, like, very rapid, um, vibration on the, the mass of Leviathan in me, and not on it, but like, like the whole thing, like, like, you know, vibrating the spindles and, and vibrating the stuff and, and just kind of like phasing it out of that solid state. So it was like, um, and, and it was very, um, graceful and almost instantaneous. It was just like, you know, one minute I'm looking at this and in my vision and I'm looking at the mass in the center and then like before I know it it's just like this almost almost like um like playing pong but like it's always getting higher. Like <laughs> um and and what happened was the ball got like it got loosened, but like the loosening was so quick that like I'm not sure if I should really even say it happened. It was like one minute it was this ball, and the next minute it like spread into the shell. So like it all went from the outs, the inside, uh, and the same material, the same amount of material, now was like outside as like a as a shell, like a, a like a spherical um like enclosure and i saw that i was um i was being the sun there like i was um i i don't know quite how to 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 say I, I can't really say, like, why about this, but, like, I, I know that, like, what was happening was fusion, basically. Like, instead of processing, getting rid of, you know, moving this, this stuff, this muck, this sin, that, um, that, like, 777 was, like, sublimating it, um, transmuting it, radiating it, you know, like, like, um, br bringing it through, like, phase transformations, uh, until it quite simply just became on the outside, you know, like, it, it and it, like, without having to, like, pass through, uh, So, so and, I, and I kept it up for like 10, 10 seconds or something. Like it, was, it was the first experience that I've yet to repeat, but that like, um, like, wow, I know how, um, it's really not the power, it's the simplicity that that's really shocking. That like, you know, we spend so much of our lives just figuring out how to get this, how to get this shit out of us, how to, you know, solve all these problems and correct all these faults and atone for this and that. And, um, and none of it's necessary. All, all that's necessary is 
um, vibrating fast enough to just kind of shuff it off and keep it as an atmosphere that protects you. Like, like it's just, just so fucking elegant, just amazing. Um, so, so I think, I think that that's all I'll actually say here and, and leave the, the rest, the details for, um, for the writing that I'm doing. Um, it's already been uh, 24 minutes. And uh, just what I said, really, though, I mean, that, that's the part that... That's the part that I need to be heard on, you know? Like, right now, like, as a human being, I, I need to share that victorious, tremendous experience of, like, dealing with darkness in such an un unprecedented way and um, so yeah I, I guess I just gotta stop talking <laughs> good night y'all thanks hope you appreciated my crazy hair <laughs>